even though in brotherly love we try to reason and it says even the Bible teaches to rebuke and saying to rebuke if something is not according to the proper order it's not for us to say well that's just their opinion but if it's concerning our faith if it's concerning the truth if it's the truth of the King of Kings and his Christ and Yeshua HaMashiach and we know the answer we know that it's wrong we have to say I believe so I spoke some people say, well, they believe it, but they're not going to speak it because of this or that. They, and see, they haven't denied themselves. You understand? So they're not truly following the King of Kings and his Christ. And they're allowing that natural, the old man, the laziness of the old man, because they have not crossed the threshold. It's like the Israelites, they reached the River Jordan. Remember the Israelites, before they went to the Promised Land, they reached the River Jordan, and then he turns back. And then Joshua had to, you know, consult with the Almighty and to get, you know, get a way and a means for them to cross over. And the whole thing about the 12 stones and everything and, and, and the priest and the ark and all that going beforehand. And that's in the, um, that's in the, the book of Joshua, you know, read the last couple of chapters of Deuteronomy. We're coming up to that right now. But this is going to be about, um, Omar Tabaj's uh, statement um, concerning the supernatural, right? He said, and it's not about the brother Omar, and otherwise, like I said, if it's his opinion, it's his opinion. Every man has a right to decide his own destiny, but don't step on I and I toes. In other words, our feet have to walk your way. So walking your way, and next one said, yes, I'm Rastafari, and then they're stepping on I and I toes or going, going against the way. Or, or even blocking the way or lying about the way. It is a matter of faith to earnestly contend for the faith, for the Tawahido, the Ritua Haimeno that was once um, um, that was once uh, revealed to the saints, that the saints have originally, the Kedusan, the Holy Ones, have originally received. Now we know that his Imperial Majesty Kadamawi Haila Shalasi, Haila Shalasi the first. We know this that he is the defender of the faith. Now, which faith? One might say the Christian faith. Well, yes, the Christian faith, but let's be a little more specific because it already says that um, how ones have crept in on the weirs. You understand? If we study the history of Christianity, we see that the Romanist Christians, right, the Roman Catholics invaded Ethiopia on several occasions and committed horrible um, abominations, crimes of humanity in a, being religious, being Christian. So we see Christian fight against Christian. Now is Christ divided? No. You understand? Paul even speaks about like from whence does these divisions come, right? So let's look at let's look at this verse and we're going to deal or rather address because we're pruning our words, not deal rather, but better yet we're going to address these um, statements because First of all, saying that His Majesty says that the supernatural is a false concept, right? So we asked um, Omar, we said, um, show us that. He said, well, it's on my wall, it's over here, you didn't bother to read this and that. Okay, we didn't read all of his comments. We said, show us these things. You know, show us the speech. All you have to do is just post the speech. Finally, you know, puff, 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 he, he did, you know, he did post um, certain word sound of our father, of his imperial majesty, Hila Selassie first, right? And we read through them, and there's some very interesting and good quotes. Most of them we've seen, I think it's about all of them we've seen and read, and we affirm that they are the words of his majesty, the utterance of the king of kings. But nowhere in any of the quotes that he made did we find his majesty stating that the supernatural is a false concept. You know, like it would have been very easy to find a quote if it exists, if it's true, saying that, you know, your evidence should reflect what you're saying. Because you're saying that our Father says this. And, and many ones who are not even like you, maybe reading and trying to, you know, find the truth for yourself, many others are not going to even maybe search it out for themselves, but they're going to believe because you might have said certain things true concerning the prophecy of his majesty his majesty being the true and living God that manifestation that fulfillment of the word you know percent they're going to believe that well what you're saying is correct so this is why we have to rebuke and even the Bible says sharply 
sharply, you know, be sharp on the point. So it's not personal. This is theo, meaning God, logical, meaning word. You understand? Or what, what is God's word, concerning God's word. So you say, Halaslas is God, right? And King of Kings, right? And then you say, well, I and I, God and King of Kings says such and such. And he doesn't say that. And you present evidence, and none of your evidence reflects any of that. Yes, his majesty is speaking about various various things and various matters. But you know what we didn't find? We didn't find his majesty saying, I am not Christ. We didn't find him saying, I am not Jesus. Right? We don't find him saying, I'm not Jesus Christ. And the reason why I say Christ and Jesus, because sometimes some folks, you know, um, say Jesus meaning Christ and Christ meaning Jesus. And some get confused because they, you know, the Bible says, study and show yourself approved to God as a what? As a workman that need not be what? Ashamed. As a workman who need not be ashamed. Look at this. So go to your Bible for a moment and look at 1 Corinthians chapter 11, right? In 1 Corinthians chapter 11, at verse 17, it says this, Now, in this I declare to you, I praise you not. And we did praise certain things that Omar Tabaja put up, the videos you can see we linked it as our favorite. And we didn't take it down even after this um, controversy or whatever like that, because we still think that he said very, you know, important things, and I think it was a good presentation. You understand, basically, right? But he's going on to say other things, that um, contradict the teaching of His Majesty. All right, so so we have to you know man up about that. So we don't praise you that ye come together not for the better but for the worse. So first of all, verse 18, when ye come together in the church, in the Beta Christian, right? It says, I hear that there be divisions among you, and I partly believe it. In other words, he said he hears that these who are in Christ, in Yeshua. Right, are divided about what they, you know, what they're about. You know, it's like breaking into different um, um, denominations, so for factions and parties. And then you speak to this one, and they say something greatly different. But yet we have one Father, and the Word says we should be of one mind. You understand? Of one mind. You over that? That's that's the key. But the unity is the knowledge of the Son of God. So when you have one like Omar Tabai just saying that, well. Yes, so Yeshua is, is not divine or he's not God and, and saying that someone else is Christ. Let's go to confusion. That's first of all straight up bold faced confusion. So for what you did before that we find to be more right and exact, so be it. But now it's like what has you know what what has gotten into you? You understand? And so we partly believe that. But we heard things already. Once we're saying that, oh, this brother is saying this and that. Have you checked out this? And it was for a couple of maybe weeks or even months now. And finally, we've seen something that you posted on our page about 2012 and your interpolation about it. And we said, okay, we're going to, you know, engage you. Verse 19 says, for there must be also heresies among you. There must be denials. There must be ones who deny more or less the truth, and then they'll still say, well, I'm of it, but this is my philosophy, opinion. But they don't even say this is my philosophy. They say, this is what it is. You know what I'm Those who have studied and who are studying and showing themselves approved, they're trying to say that, well, we're wasting our time. We shouldn't go to the root of words. We shouldn't go to what words mean. We shouldn't go to our divine heritage, the root and the truth of it. We should just rely on the branches and the leaves. You remember when Christ came across that fig tree that had a whole bunch of leaves on it? So he went near because he desired fruit. But when he got near to it and there was no fruit on it, he cursed it. He cursed that tree. Then they went, they went on their way. They came forward. And disciples were very amazed that that tree that he only cursed a little while ago had um, shriveled up, had dried up. And, and Yeshua gave a, gave a faith, a amen lesson. Because our main be Christ's name. Now, it says that there must also be heresies amongst you. And we're not saying that different mansions. There would be different mansions. You understand? My father's house had different mansions. But even with different mansions about the essential truth, it's not that his majesty teaches, if his majesty defended, then this too we must learn of, because that's his will, and we must defend it too if we are obedient children and not caught up by the spirit of disobedience or puffed up in our, you know, pride or arrogance or philosophies, healing now softly, so forth and so on. It says, for there must 
be also heresies among you, that they which are approved may be made manifest amongst you. Among you. Is this an example of that? That he says right here, this is very interesting, because he says that he says there must be heresies. Heresies are denials or hearsays or confused doctrine or diverse opinions amongst us, even as Rastafari. Why? So that they that are approved among uh, those that are approved may be made manifest, may be revealed among you. You know what I'm saying? A lot of folks are staying on the sideline of this issue because either they don't know about these things or they're unwilling to speak or whatever reason. You know, John know and, 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 and hopefully they'll have a good answer for John because he wasn't able to give a good answer. You know what I'm saying? Even a good rebuke. Hey, with love, in the spirit of love, of course. You know what I'm saying? When you come together, right, therefore in one place, this is not to eat the Lord's Supper. For in eating, everyone taketh before another his own supper, and one is hungry, and another is drunk, and in other words, 